It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 21st of January. I'm Michael Groff. And if I sound just a little bit off today, slurring a bit, it's not because I'm drunk or high. I wish I was, but I had some dental work done yesterday. Still a little bit swollen, so we're going to try and get through this as best we can. Temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages through the weekend with an increase in clouds. We do have an outside chance at seeing some rain tomorrow. But then overall, the weather pattern will remain rather tranquil through much of next week with a gradual warming trend. We'll talk about all of that in just a moment. But first, it is Friday, so that means it's Photo Friday here where we take a look at some of the photos and or videos that you guys have submitted. And it just figures the day I really don't want to talk very much is the day that we have a ton of submissions. So let's get to those. First up, we go international. Our friends down in Brisbane, Australia, send us this shot. And well, it looks like a beautiful day there. Temperatures in the land down under have been rather toasty. The northwest of Australia has seen highs approaching 120 degrees. Yes, it is summer in the southern hemisphere, and it's an especially toasty one down there. Then our friend Steve in Willow Creek, and that's up there in northwest Arizona, sends us this beautiful picture of a sunset from earlier this week. That looks absolutely amazing. So thanks to Steve. He always sends us some good stuff. This next one came to my email earlier in this week. I have no idea who sent it, but it is a shot of a sunrise from the 101 and the 51. So thank you to the random person for sending that. It is a nice shot. Then Beth, she's back and she's got a couple of pictures of the sunset. This one, you've got a little bit of everything there. You've got the clouds, you've got the moon in the background amidst the backdrop of that sunset. Beautiful. And then this is another one from North Phoenix that Beth sent in. So these are always appreciated as well. I love the colors in that shot. And then speaking of sunsets, we've got quite a theme going on here. These are from Chris Martin, and this was taken near his cabin in Ash Fork in the central part of the state. And you got the cirrus clouds making for just a sensational sunset photo there. And then this one as well. We'd love to see those. And then he took this one down there near the bike trail by the Phoenix Zoo. I'm kind of familiar with that area. And so I love those pictures as always. Yep, sunrise and sunset photos. We've got a bunch of them this week. And of course, Ryan Seek, our resident professional photographer, sends in these as well. These are from down near I-8. And uh, this is from Tuesday evening sunset. Beautiful stuff. So thank you. And then finally, we have a number of pictures from the one and only Michelle and her family. And we'll start out up in Idaho where they got some snow yesterday. And driving around there, that must, uh, that doesn't look like it's a lot of fun driving through the snow. Uh, They had one to three inches of snow up in southwest Idaho near the Treasure Valley there. And then this one is from her brother Ed in his backyard. Quite a bit of snow going on there. And then we go to her other sister, Bree, and her house. And I'm sure while she was making waffles or lumpia or the cornucopia of food that's always available at Bree's house, uh, you got to look out to the front yard and see this. So. Always appreciate that. And lastly, if you've paid close attention to my videos, you have seen this girl before. That is our black lab. And on Monday, Michelle and I took her to the vet to have her spayed. And so she's been recovering this week, getting lots of rest. But she's getting all that energy back right now. She's doing a lot better. Uh, Her name is Michael Michelle. No, Michelle and I did not name her. Uh, Michelle's daughters named her that long before Michelle and I ever got together. I guess that name is... um, based on the name of a couple of YouTubers, as I understand it. So there you go. Uh, That's Photo Friday for this week. And if you have any submissions you'd like to send in, groffshow at gmail.com is my email address. That is G-R-O-F-F show at gmail.com for Photo Friday. And as the great Bob Barker said, have your pets spayed or neutered. All right, as we get into it here, taking a look at the almanac from yesterday, 71 degrees, the afternoon high, 47 was the morning low, the normal high, 68, the normal low, 46. And taking a look out there now at 8.30 a.m., sunny sky across the metro, and we are at 48 degrees at Sky Harbor. The dew point at 25, relative humidity, 40%. The winds are light, and the barometer is steady. The upper air look across the country this morning shows a rather wavy pattern with one positively tilted trough over the eastern half of the country, pulling down some cold air and wintry precipitation to the Gulf Coast. There's another wave just north of Arizona that's dropping due south on the front of this ridge here that's along the west coast, and that's going to close off into an upper low and be a weather maker for us this weekend. 
Here's the watch warning map and check it out. Winter weather advisories all the way down to the southern tip of Texas and along parts of the Gulf Coast. Yes, they could see some freezing rain just a little bit here this morning in parts of Louisiana where you don't normally see that. Uh, around here, we've got wind advisories and high wind watches to the west of us for parts of Southern California, Southern Nevada, and up into the Sierra. So be aware of that if you're traveling uh, up toward Las Vegas or heading into the Southern California deserts over the weekend. The convective outlook for today, we do have a little marginal risk there over parts of far Southern Florida. And here's a look at precipitation. This is valid through next Friday morning from the WPC. Rain amounts in Phoenix, generally just under a tenth of an inch. Numbers have actually come up a little bit. And we could see some more significant precipitation than that uh, between about one tenth to one quarter inch or just a little bit more over the rim country and the eastern mountains of our state with this upper low coming in this weekend. We'll talk about that in more detail right now as we get to the models. And here we go. This is the GFS, the 06Z run valid at two o'clock this afternoon. Check out that anomalous upper ridge off the Pacific Northwest coast and extending into western Canada. And on the eastern flank of that, we see a short wave cutting southward toward the greater southwest, and that's going to close off into an upper low. We see this with patterns like that from time to time. But what it means for us down at the surface today is a sunny day here in Phoenix, high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s. But we will start to see some breezes picking up, particularly across northern Arizona this afternoon. But the stronger winds will be held a little further to the west over the Mojave Desert, so be aware of that once again. Um, and then tonight, the sky becomes partly cloudy overnight lows, mainly in the 40s. Tomorrow, that low is now closed off across Arizona. Now, it's not going to have a lot of Pacific moisture associated with it, but it will have enough dynamic support that we'll start to see some showers developing, particularly over the higher terrain, again, of the central and eastern rim and the eastern mountains, the white mountains of our state. But we can't rule out a few showers maybe kind of hit and miss here over the southern deserts as well. So we'll call it partly sunny with a 20% chance of showers in Phoenix for the day on Saturday. And it will be breezy at times too. And high temperatures should be in the mid-60s. And that'll hold into tomorrow night. Then the day on Sunday, that feature begins to move off to the east. Still a few showers over eastern Arizona. Here in Phoenix, I think we're going to be dry though. And high temperatures again somewhere in the mid-60s. As we go to next week, we will see these periodic short waves cutting across the Intermountain West and maybe even clipping through the Four Corners, so occasional breezy conditions. But for the most part here in Phoenix, we're going to stay dry. High temperatures, upper 60s to around 70 for Monday, Tuesday, and even Wednesday. Thursday, high temperatures might actually get into the low 70s with uh, some increase in high clouds possible. As again, some wave energy will be cutting through the west and the upper ridge will be retrograding further to the west back toward the northern Pacific. Here's a week from today. This is Friday, the 28th. We got the ridge up there across the Gulf of Alaska. There's a wave coming toward the west coast here, but a mainly zonal flow around here or perhaps even a, a flat ridge in place. And then as we go out 10 days, this is Sunday the 30th, a big ridge all the way up into the Bering Sea. Maybe a high latitude blocking pattern starts to emerge here by the end of the month. And look at that deep trough in the east. Very cold air could be spilling down east of the Rockies. Around here, there is a little wave that rotates around that big trough through the four corners, and that could give us some breezy conditions. But at this point, it's 10 days out. A lot can change with this, but I'm very interested in the potential blocking pattern that sets up there because that can throw quite a wrench into our forecast way out there, maybe toward the beginning of next month. As we take a look at rainfall for Phoenix going out through the next couple of weeks, coming off of the GFS Ensemble, and most of the members do indicate that we will see some rain uh, tomorrow or tomorrow night with that little low that's coming through. But the Ensemble mean for the next two weeks is only about a quarter of an inch, so significant precipitation is not expected anytime soon. And temperatures off the national blend of models overall, not too far off of what you would expect here in late January, maybe getting a little bit warmer as we go out beyond about seven days. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video due back here on Monday morning. Of course, updates before that if necessary. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave your comments, questions and suggestions. As always, I invite you to check out my streaming station. It's called KMGX, where we play a lot of music, have a lot of fun over there. It's myself and the one and only Michelle involved in that. And who knows, you might even hear the Black Lab on there if you listen very carefully. 
I will leave a link to it in the description and how you can listen via your smart speaker as well. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching, all of your continued support and putting up with me and my uh, swollen face here. We, uh, we managed to make it through. That's good news. All right, uh, you guys be safe out there. Have yourselves a great Friday and a wonderful weekend.